Okay guys, we'll tie a wee salmon pattern. This is a request that I got to tie this wee fly. So, um, the fly that I'm going to tie is called Brawley's Gold Shrimp. Aye, this was first tied or created, whichever way you want to look at it, by a gentleman called Morris Brawley. So, I'm just going to show you how to put the wee fly together. The hook in the vise is a size 14, Partridge Patriot Double, size 10, Black Nickel. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni 380 in red. So, I'm just going to come in, get my thread started a couple of mil behind the other hook. Run on a few mil of thread and then remove the waist tag. Now I'm going to put a tag at the back of the fly. And I'm going to use a oval gold tinsel and small. So, I'm just going to catch this in underneath the hook shank. Bring the oval gold in underneath the, the hook shank and then simply on your thread down, tying this in. Yeah, just want to bring my thread down so I'm at the points of the hook. And then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval gold tinsel. And on the last turn, bring it up. And in between the two hooks, that locks your tag in for you. Then you can come in and trim away the excess oval gold tinsel. The tail is a natural red breast feather of the golden pheasant. So I'm just going to remove all the rubbish from the bottom of the feather. Just come in and stroke back the, the fibres to reveal your tip. Just making a, looking to make a wee Christmas tree shape. Now, the length of your tail can be shorter than that. Just use a one of the smaller feathers. So just come up with your thread. A couple of turns to catch in the tip, fold the tip back. A couple of turns up over the top of the tip of the haggle. I just like to bring my thread up out of the way just to give me room to work. And then come in and trim away the tip of the haggle. And we'll just fold these back take one turn from the other. Now, I don't get too hung up if this is being wrapped around because we'll come in and brush that out. Don't be sweating the small stuff. Just come in and catch that in. Now, just want to keep the stem. I'm trying to keep the stem on my side. I'm going to try and keep this body as smooth as I can. It's going to be a gold tinsel, so we'll trim away the stem. Then you can come in with your brush and fix your, fix your golden pheasant grass feather. Just brush it out and get it sitting nice. Now on the way back down I want to catch in the rib and I'm using an ultra wire uh, by UTC and gold. So I'll just Catch us in the way back down. Same again, just catch that underneath. Same as the oval gold tinsel. Get this stage, just hold your tail back, sweep it back. To there, the body is going to be the uni mailer in silver and gold, the size 12. If you've got a size 10, use it. It's the larger one. Just cover more quickly for you. Now I want the gold side. So I'm going to tie this in on top with the silver side facing up. And then just run my thread up, tying in my tinsel. Then you can come round with your gold tinsel. Bring it up here. The rear part of the body. Come in and tie this off. Just want to have a wee check. Just at the tail. Yep, have enough of that. So just come in and we'll trim that away. Then you can bring up your gold wire. Looking three turns or so onto the body to protect it at the back. 
follow us around with your thread. Nice tight turns. And then you can come in and bend and break away the wire. Eh, we're not looking too bad. Mid haggle. Mid uh, just a hot orange Chinese cock haggle. So, got a nice haggle off. So, we're going to stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. Off of the feather up to the hook. Come in with a couple of turns to catch in the tip. Come in and sweep back your tip. Bring your thread up over the top. Then you can come in and locate your tip. You can bring it away. Just like to come in with the scissors. Just run it up the stem of the haggle. Just helps that haggle to fold back for you. And then you're digging three turns of the, the haggle. That's what I'm going to put on. You put on what you like. It's your fly. Say it all the time, it's the way you like to, to dress your patterns. So there, follow us around with my thread. A couple of tight turns in now, just to hold the haggle in place now. Just want to come in and strip away some of the fibres that remain on the stem. Then I'm just going to try and keep this in underneath. And then just run my thread up. So we favour there. Just come in and get that to sit back with my thread up. Keep my thread tight and break away the stem of the haggle. On the way back down, we'll catch in our gold wire again for our rib. Just a wee favour here, just gonna take this away guys. Back in with our gold wire. Just catching it underneath again, bring it in underneath the Shank of the hook. Now, when you get down to here, just come in and fold back your mid haggle. Bring your thread down tight up against your mid haggle. Front body is the same as the rear. Just a gold tinsel again. Just remember if you're using the dual tinsels, silver on one side, gold on the other. Whatever side you want to use, tad on the opposite side. So we'll just run that up to there. Then we'll come around with our gold tinsel. Nice tight turn to mid haggle. And then just overlap and turn to your gold tinsel up the body. Then just come around with your thread. Get a couple of tight turns in. Just to screw in your tinsel. And then come in and trim away the tinsel. Now when you wind up your rib, you're only going to get two turns on this side. This is the last third of the fly up to there. Follow it around with your thread. Just nice tight turns in to the wire. So that's what's holding the whole fly together. And then come in and bend and break away the wire. And we'll just get a bit of thread down here for our haggles at the front. And the first haggle at the front. Is a yellow uh, Chinese cock haggle, and the one that I'm going to use is dyed a fluorescent orange, or sorry, a fluorescent yellow, fluorescent fluorescent yellow. So I'm we'll just got a nice haggle off here. Just want to get a nice one. There's one there. Same again. Just stroke back the fibers. To reveal the tip. After this up to the hook. Come around with a couple of turns to hold. Then just come in and sweep back your tip. Tie up over the top of the tip of the haggle. Then you can come in and break away the tip. Back in with your scissors. Just run that up the stem of the haggle. Same again. We're looking three turns of the yellow hackle here. Another one. Let's follow this around with your thread. A couple of nice tight turns to secure that in. Come in and trim away the axis. 
the stem. Next haggle, another hot orange Chinese cock haggle. Get a nice haggle off here again. Same as you did with the, the whole way up the fly here. Just come in, a couple of turns will catch that in, fold the tip back. Just tie up over the top of the tip of the hackle and the hackle itself come in and locate the tip and break it away. Then you can come in and just run your scissors up the stem of the hackle. And then just come around with your turns of hackle again. Same again at the front. I'm going to put in three. your hackle stem, follow us around with your thread. A couple of tight turns will secure that in. Come in again, trim away the stem. Now at this stage just come in, just fold everything back and bring your thread turns tight up against your hot orange hackle. Now make it wee favour spread out on you but don't worry. Just come in and fold it back. Now, on top, we're going to put a wing on. And this is just one of the smaller uh, golden pheasant breast feathers. Now, you can put on a yellow uh, breast feather or rump feather if you like. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut a V out on this. So, just take the feather and just come into the middle of the feather of the stem and just cut a V in it. Just cut the, the middle part of the feather out. You see that? Just like that. Then just offer this up to the, to the hook. Now, you want your wing coming into your golden pheasant tail at the back. So just hold that on top. Nice tight turns to secure. Then we can come in and see what way we're sitting. So we check. Okay, I'm happy with that. So at this stage, just come in and hold your feather. Put in another few locking turns just to secure it in. Then come in nice pair of sharp scissors here, guys. Just trim away your stem. Just come in again, hold your wing, and then just build up your head. Nice bright head on the fly, keeping your thread tight. Come in and just knock on a whip finish. Put your thread nice and tight. Come in and trim away your tan thread. Now just to finish off. Always like to put a wee drop of super glue under the head. Don't want this going under your hackle, so just if you're using this stuff, just take your time. There's no rush. And there you go, guys. That's the the Brawley's gold. Eh? That's a good wee fly to have in your box, particularly if you fish, you know, PD Water. Um, Marty, the guy who asked me to tie the wee fly, um, works well for him, I think, on the derg. So, look, tie a few up, get a few in your box, hopefully, then catch a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to tune in to view the video. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together, um, Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel, helps the wee channel out, and until next time, tight lines.